Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Place Tori Expert Hardcore Edition. And today is the day. We are going to be fighting the Wall of Flesh. Now, are we going to survive? I don't know. But we're going to be fighting the Wall of Flesh anyway, so we have to go down to hell. There are some preparations that we still need to make that I'm going to start making right now. Now you can see I didn't actually finish sectioning off this corruption. I can do that pretty easily, I think, and I and I still will do that before we actually go and fight the Wall of Flesh. That's about the last thing that I'm going to do other than actually creating the Wall of Flesh arena before we go down and fight him. But I think what I want to do now is actually head down to hell and start creating the arena. And in order to do that, I need some things. So I need a lot of stone. I don't know, honestly, how long I need the arena to be, but somewhere around 5,000 blocks ought to be sufficient. The other thing I want to do is make some... What do I want to make? I want to make some campfires. So we'll go ahead, how many? 10 maybe? Hmm... Maybe more? How many can I... Uh, I can only make 10. Because of my wood situation. What about ebon wood? Ebon wood works too? Cool. So there we go. 16. And that's only because I'm missing some torches. So let's do... I think 20. Just 20 would be fantastic. There's 18. 19. Can you make it with Dynasty? You cannot. Ah, I don't like having... I don't like having that weird number. Let's let's create some boreal wood just from the platforms that we have, and now make a couple of torches and one more. Okay, there we go. Good, excellent. So 20 campfires. That's really good. We also want some heart lanterns. Which where did I? I have three in here, and you know we'll do. We're gonna do all these. It'll be 18, so it's going to be a weird number, but I'm not going to go in mine just so I can actually make some more heart lanterns. So that's fine. So let's make some chains. I'm not sure how many I need, but is that enough? Not quite. I need five more. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. 18. Okay, cool. And I'll just put the iron chains back in there. I probably had chains somewhere, but... That is perfect. I don't think I'm going to worry about honey runs in the arena. So that is fine. But I do want to see, do I have any obsidian skin potions left? Look how many potions I have. Really, really have done a nice job gathering ingredients. Oh, but I don't have any obsidian skin. That worries me. That does worry me because... Oh, I'm sorry. I do. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Five obsidian skin. That is going to help immensely with creating the arena, I think. That way I don't have to worry about falling into the lava. So we're going to go down to hell. We're going to start the construction. I'm going to show you guys some of the construction. Other than that, I'm going to cut a lot of it out. Um, I have been getting a lot of requests, interestingly enough. Oh, and let's we'll stop by the artificial biome so you can see how they're doing. I've been getting a lot of requests, requests for cutting out less material and instead doing more sped up versions. And I, I will try to do that with some things, but I make videos how I would watch them if I was the viewer. And for me, I don't want to see the same thing over and over again, and I don't want to see anything too monotonous, even in a sped up version. So anything to, that to me is just really not that important, I'll make sure I have my horseshoe equipped, I do. I like to cut out because I would rather actually jump forward. Hey, bat. I would rather jump forward and actually see more exciting things than to simply see the same thing over and over or something uh, very, very tedious like mining. Building I tend to show and arena construction I like to show, but other than that, guys, I really would prefer to just kind of, I didn't really need shine thorns, why not? Uh, regen and obsidian skin, here we go. So we're gonna go all the way to the right and uh, I'm gonna continue talking about the speed up versus cut. So what I would like to do is just to continue as we've been doing and I will try to cut less and but I still want it to be exciting. If it's not going to be exciting then I don't think I'm going to be showing it. That's that's how I feel. Oh that that obsidian run is really good. So the plan is we're going to go all the way to the right to the very end of the world and that's where we're going to end up summoning the 
wall of flesh. Oh, jeez. There's so much stuff to clear. There's so much stuff to clear. And once we get over there, then we're going to just start laying the stone foundation. And the goal, ideally, is to make it as as easy to navigate as possible. But you can see with the varying levels of lava that we have, it's definitely not going to be as straight as I would hope. Hmm. As far as weapons that I'm going to use, I plan on using a combination. I am going to go with all range, which obviously makes sense. Trying to fight him melee is absolutely absurd. But it is not just going to be... Ooh, ooh, get out of the lava. Uh, it is not just going to be one item. It is going to be a combination. I plan on using the star cannon. Not for a whole lot because I actually didn't spend too much time gathering stars. But I got some. And so we're going to use that to see what kind of damage we can do. I'm also going to try to use the Phoenix Blaster, mostly because I actually haven't had much experience using it. In fact, I haven't fired it at all on this character. Um, in order to do that, we are going to need to, or at least want to, create lots and lots of Meteor Shot. And then also, I am going to be using the Bee's Knees. I don't want to use that if I don't have to, because I did use that to take down Skeletron, and I, I really like to use a variety of weapons. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do that. But we'll see. All right, come on. Hmm, this is going to be kind of a pain in the tuchus to create a good arena. Because, man, the terrain is just so varied. It's the most varied I've personally ever seen. Maybe you guys have seen it worse, but not this guy. Go... And, hmm, I wonder how much further I'm going to have to go. Also, we do have a shadow key, and I haven't seen a single shadow chest yet. All right, watch your obsidian skin. You have one minute left. How far are we? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think if we can cover half, half of hell with a line of stone or at least just one straight shot I think that's sufficient and I could be wrong I also need to be careful make sure I'm not actually killing any voodoo demons while they're over lava that would be a very very bad idea thank you to all of you who mentioned that when I come down here to construct the arena I should not have my imp staff out because the worst thing that could happen is actually to have my imps kill one of the voodoo demons when I'm not even paying attention and I absolutely agree. So thank you for that. I did remember to turn it off before I left. And we are in much better shape for it. Alright, so 30 seconds. 30 seconds. How far are we going to get? Oh, we might even be able to get it on a single potion. Which I'm still probably going to pop one just to be safe. But we'll see. Okay, 10 seconds. I don't know if I want to go down there without refreshing. Yeah, let's refresh. Oh, you guys can still do some damage, huh? I guess so. All right. Is this this is the edge? All right. Cool. Oh no. Jeez. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> Sorry, traveling merchant. You are uh, you are not gonna be needed right now all right see that that is someone we don't want to kill right now absolutely absolutely not i think we're gonna have to make this Ooh. i have to kill you but i have to kill you not over lava so nope nope catch it catch it there we go good so i think what we'll do is do it about this level there we go all right, come on, guys, shooting your fireballs. So, the construction has begun. Um, this is something that I don't plan on showing you very much of because it is going to be a whole lot of me placing bricks and not much else. So, let's just see how far out we want to go. Probably, I think, to there. That's probably a good spot. And what I will do is actually block this off. Good. Oh, also, I need to... I'll probably end up rebuffing. There we go. Good. 
and construction has officially begun. So, see you guys occasionally. Well, we have a shadow chest. Might as well open that. Open that up with a damage flame lash, magic power. Oh, that's kind of cool. Inferno ignites nearby enemies. Hey, I'm okay with that. Let's get rid of hellstone brick. Let's take that. Um, I can always get more hellstone brick. I don't need any more recall potions. I don't need any more glow sticks, and I don't need any more of those. Cool. But I do want that. So let's get rid of. Um, Ash, there we go. Cool. I didn't know that that was even a, a thing. That's pretty exciting. So anything that gets close to me is actually going to burn. Hmm. Maybe it has a... Oh, jeez. Get out of here, slime. Maybe it has a lesser effect on enemies in hell. I would imagine so, since they are kind of fire enemies in and of themselves. By the way, we are now on our third stack. We ran out of our campfires a long time ago. A long time ago, indeed. Now, this stuff is Hellstone Brick, which I believe burns me when I touch it. Well, actually, no, because I have the Obsidian Skull, so never mind. Never mind, indeed. Okay. I, sh ah, I hate these slimes. I hate these slimes so much, I have to try to trick them into jumping off. There we go. Okay, so with three stacks down, how far am I? I'm actually past the halfway point. I'm going to go a little bit longer. I might do this whole stack of stone. I'm not sure. I'm just... My whole thought process is, what if... What if I get to the very end? What if I actually get to the point where I am about to defeat the Wall of Flesh, and then the only reason I die is because I run out of platform? That, that just would not sit well with me. So I've done over preparation for everything else in the series. It would, jeez, oh, it would stand to reason. Okay, this is this is this is getting dangerous. It would stand to reason that I would over prepare for this as well. All right, you guys are just gonna have to die, and I'm gonna have to. Whoa, no! I'm gonna have to make a little little hole for the lava to go, and I am 
going to heal up. I am very, very nervous about dying during preparation, so we'll... Really, another? Alright, jump down there. Good. Ay, ay, ay. Please just let me finish this arena. Oh, you are the absolute worst right now. You know that. Come in here. And now I have another demon to deal with. Of course I have another demon to deal with. All right. That's it. That's our arena. About three quarters of the way. I don't... I don't think I'm going to need more than that. If I do, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So, I need to do some inventory management, but then it's time to prepare. Uh, guys, honestly, I know I'm supposed to do this. I don't have it in me to go and, and and tidy that up and contain it. Maybe I'm being foolish. I probably am, but I just really, really, really want to do the wall flesh. So, let me do some inventory management, guys, and I'm going to show you the, the armor we'll be wearing and the potions we'll be using, and I'll see you then. Okay, let's prepare. So first things first, I am going to get a voodoo doll in my inventory. Okay, because that signifies that we're actually doing this. And then I am going to grab the... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, by the way, I made the fossil armor just because I had enough fossils. Nothing I'll ever be using because it's thrown damage. The, the bee armor has more minion available, but I also have the bewitching table. And I do have some ingredients to make a minion potion, which means for the fight, we all actually have three imps at our disposal, which is pretty cool. But we are going to be using the jungle set. So, let's take a look at this. We have, or we go from 45 damage with the well-fed buff to 37. So we do lose 8 defense. It's significant, it is, but the added damage is also pretty... Oh wait, I don't want jungle. I didn't want... I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even want jungle. I wanted a necro. That's what I wanted. Whoops. Which I think is good because I think jungle is or necro is only seven difference. Yeah. Yep. It's only seven difference. Wait, or nine? Is it nine? Anyway, necro di necro armor. <laughs> this is going to give us our increased range damage. So 15% increase range damage plus 20% chance to not consume ammo. Pretty, pretty cool. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gladiator on one of these guys. And I'm going to put my molten in the vanity just in case I realize that damage or the damage that I'm taking is just a bit too much. I can always revert back pretty quickly. Oh, that's a cool looking set. I can revert back pretty quickly mid-battle. Now, I have plenty of arrows. I have all the stars that I can get. What I need to do, though, is get some musket balls. So, I want some meteorite bar. I don't need maybe, I don't know, 20. And then I think the arms or the gunsmith is still over in the other house. By the way, the party girl moved in. Hooray. You can get bubble machines and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why she's really a thing. There she is. Look at Fantasia. What a what a fitting name. <laughs> okay, Terrell, come here. I need your finest musket balls, please. One stack is a plenty. Good. Now we're gonna turn those into meteorite shots. We are going to get rid of jester arrows. There we go. Not that they wouldn't fire from that inventory, but just so it's all nice and neat. Okay, and do we do this at a workbench? Meteorite shot. That was... Okay, that was perfect. I have 19 left over, no big deal. That is fine, that can just sit in my inventory. Now, I do want to try to re-roll this though. I'm gonna keep one platinum for hard mode because that'll enable me to get uh, wings right away. But I have 71 gold to spare, so let's do Phoenix Blaster. It's only a gold. Awkward, staunch. Deadly? Uh, nasty? Mm, quick? No. Strong? No. Okay, that's a pretty good deadly modifier. There we go. So, slow. Oh, and I definitely want to reroll this. This is expensive, so we just have to. Oh, geez, get lucky. Quick. Lazy? Oh, come on, one more. Rapid? Okay, speed and velocity? That's pretty cool, I guess. 
I wish it had extra damage, but it doesn't. But look at that. Now with the buff, I'm getting 63 rain damage, 34, and 29. All right, cool. Now, for potions. Of course we want our potions. That is a given. So we want iron skin. So let's go ahead. We should be able to just open this up and kind of make all of them we want. So swiftness, grab two of those. Iron skin, we will grab two of those. What else do we want? Mana regen, we don't need. Shine, we don't need. Um, <laughs> flipper, calming, summon, summoning. We want a summoning because we caught a lot of these variegated lard fish. I have to show you our fishing haul, by the way. So we'll do, we'll do two of those, which will be fun. And endurance, absolutely we want endurance, absolutely. I think that's pretty good, guys. That's a lot of buffs, it's a lot of buffs, but I think it's going to be absolutely worth it. So before we actually head down and take on the Wall of Flesh, if all goes according to plan and we're able to defeat him, and I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do it. I was able to fish up a lot of crates. Now it's not as many as I had hoped. I wanted to go for about 500, if not 1,000. I kind of gave up. I have less than 300, but this might be enough to get us all the titanium we need to get started. We'll see. If not, I guess we're going to be breaking some altars. But guys, it's time. <sighs> it's time. I mean, uh, I've done all the prep I can. At this point, it's do or die, right? Expert Hardcore, this very well could be the end. I have only fought the Wall of Flesh once in my entire Terraria career, which has not been very, very long. That was way before 1.3, which means it was way before Expert Mode, and it was not on a Hardcore character. And that was probably about a year and a half ago. So my experience is next to nothing. This is going to be interesting. I've seen it done, and people have done it, I believe, with less preparation than I have. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well... We are on our arena. I have quite the run back. I'll see you guys at the very end of the arena. We'll get ready to toss this voodoo. Oh, darn it. I forgot something, guys. I forgot something. I forgot that I want to try and get this. And I also have an ammo box. So we're going to click both of these. We have 10 minutes. Ready, go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. All right. See you guys. Am I ready, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I really, really and truly don't know. But at this point, it doesn't matter because you know what? Buff. Oh. Uh, I forgot how to use controls. <laughs> um, where did the guy doll go? The blood moon is rising. Well, that doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. And I missed. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's time. The wall of flesh has begun. Oh, jeez. Um, where is he? Where is? Oh, jeez. He's already he's already going hard. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna run out of stars very quickly. <laughs> I am glad I'm not relying just on him. I also. Oh gosh, here he is. Oh oh my goodness, don't get stuck. Here we go. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. Am I hitting him? I don't know. I don't know if I'm hitting him. I mean, I'm doing okay with my own damage, but I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, he's, like, half dead already. <laughs> he's half dead already. Oh, this is going... This is going well. Oh, this is going swimmingly. I love this Inferno potion, by the way. I think this is just... Well, I would say it's the bee's knees, but the bee's knees are the bee's knees. <gasps> Oh my goodness, he's less than 2,000 health already, guys. <laughs> oh, I've overprepared yet again. Oh, this is oh okay, he's he's going hard, but here we go. Here we go. Oh. It's done. It's done, everyone. We are now in hard mode. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Okay, um, jeez. Look at, I have, I have far too many things going on right now. <laughs> um, oh gosh. All right, well, um, gonna do a couple quick things. Gonna sell a magma stone. 
And I can sell the Hellbat banner. I still have a Heart Lantern because I accidentally goofed. I'm going to get rid of the Inferno, even though it is so, so cool. But it's time to open this bag and see what we got. One, two, three, go! Oh, the Ranger album. Okay, increased range damage. That's pretty cool. We got the Assault Rifle. Only the first shot consumes ammo. How interesting is that? Oh, God, what do I hear? <gasps> I hear a mummy. Possessed armor? Wraith? What? <laughs> I guess because it's a blood moon. Oh, jeez. But I also got this, guys. Oh, and I got the Deadly Pwn Hammer, of course, because you need that in order to break the demon altars. But check this out. Permanently increases the number of accessory slots. Boom. Yes, please. I think it's time. We'll do... What do we want? That'll work. That'll work nicely. We're in hard mode, guys. I'm not going to open these chests until next time. That's probably going to be an episode almost entirely in and of itself, but... Oh, boy. Guys, if you're still enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it, please make sure to hit the like button. If you have any tips to help me stay alive just a little bit longer, especially now that we're in hard mode, put those in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.